Hey guys, what is up? It's Ghost Squad 57 here, and today I'm going to be doing a gameplay and commentary of Shank 2 for Linux. Now, as always, I would like to start off by saying I'm running this on Debian Wheezy, also known as Debian Testing, depending on your preferences. It seems to run just fine, although there is a weird bug, recording bug, where the video sort of jerks back and forth. But anyway, yeah, as you see, you have campaign, survival, Metals, survival mode is what it sounds like. Campaign mode is where you play through the story. Metals is where you get to see all the achievements you've earned. Rebel intel. Throughout the game you'll collect intel and you can read about all kinds of events that help piece together the storyline. Uh, let's just go ahead and give campaign a try. We're going to select normal. We're going to do the first mission and uh, before each mission you gotta select your loadout uh... see heavy weapon i want the chainsaw the ranged weapon i want to use the shotgun and i'll just use the grenades alright and then you also get to change your outfit but i haven't unlocked any yet <coughs> excuse me And there's these little cutscenes that play, but uh, there's no reason to watch them, really. As it says, left click is how you do your primary attack, which is your close range attack. Uh, right click is how you do your ranged attack. So yeah, it's a beat-em-up game, in case you couldn't tell. Or more like a hack-and-slash sort of game. And yeah, you can, uh, it's a lot of combos. You can launch enemies in air and then just air juggle them, which gives you extra points. Although points don't really matter. Unless you're just trying to go for a high score, I guess, but I don't know. I don't know anyone who tries to go for high scores anymore. And, uh, you can dodge enemy attacks by running in a direction and then hitting shift. So once the enemy tries to attack me, you can shift, dodge, and then start shanking them. Let's knock him. Oh, I wanted to knock him up in the air. Yeah, the, I always, I always, I kind of dislike the art style of this game. It sort of looks like a Flash game. I don't know why, but I always sort of disliked it. Uh, left click while holding shift, you do your heavy attack. Since I have the chainsaw, it uses the chainsaw. And yeah, every uh, random parts of the level, you'll find these tequila bottles. Pressing F picks them up and drinks them and then restores a bit of your health. Q is how you throw grenades or molotovs or even landmines depending on your setup. Now of course at the beginning of the game you don't actually get the shotgun and all that. You have to play a bit through single play in order to unlock them. Only my favorite weapon. I just like shotguns. Mm. Satisfying chopping enemies up with the chainsaw. Yeah, the co the uh, gameplay in this game is pretty fun. You can also pick up uh, enemy weapons like bats, but uh, I, I find it a bit pointless. Yeah, and every once in a while you'll get areas like this where you can shoot uh, items and blow stuff up. Oh, I don't know why I just did that. Oh, that was kind of dumb. Anyway, yeah, let's try again. I don't know what I was thinking there. Hmm. So, yeah, shoot that. Of course, this is the first mission, and it assumes you have the uh, throwing knives. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not very good at this game, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> let's get in close range, because I do have a shotgun, so I aim. So I'm not very good at long range. There we go. Tequila bottle, even though I didn't really need it. And yeah, there's a good bit of platforming in this game too. Especially in the later levels. Oh, and you can also counter attacks. When an enemy goes to attack you, the this escort. And if you press E while it's up, you'll actually do a counter. Some enemies you have to uh, hit a little bit, drain their health before you can do counters. The enemies like these, though, are 
low level, so you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Oh, I don't know why I was standing right on that as I blew it up. I, th I believe you can pick these up. Yeah, you can. But uh, you can't jump with them, so they're pointless to have. Hmm. There we go. Oh, I hate uh, ranged enemies. Enemies with pistols are incredibly annoying because they'll just stay back and ch do chip damage to you, you know? While you got other people wailing on you, this really annoy me. Oh, I'm about to die. Yeah, this is one of the crates you open and see it gives you Primo's bio, so if you read uh, the Rebel Intel, it'll tell you a little bit about who he is. Which is cool, you know, secrets that tell you a little bit more about the story. It's pretty cool. Oh. See, the screen did that because uh lets you know that if you don't jump, you're going to fall down and die. <coughs> yeah, every now and then... Oh, crap. Can't go back. Every now and then you'll be able to... uh Huh. Strange. I'm supposed to be able to hit the button and... Hmm. I'm supposed to be able to hit a switch and drop the car, but it's not letting me go to it for some weird reason. I don't know. It's been a while since I've played the first level, so I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Oh, oh, he almost got me too. I would have been dead. And these are one of the heavier enemies. Oh, okay, now I can drop the car, yeah. He's pretty easy with the car. Just a bit rinse and repeat. Later in the game, though, the game isn't so uh, gracious and it doesn't just keep giving you uh, objects like that to use. Yeah, and this is where you get the chainsaw, although I already have it, so it doesn't really change much. Hopefully killing him gives me a tequila. Yeah, if you hold shift and press E, you get a pounce on an enemy, which lets you just wreck them. Hmm. Sometimes killing enemies when they have tequila bottles drops it so that you can use it, but I guess it didn't work this time. There's one. About how long I've lasted with one hit. Whoa. Okay, so it's obvious what the game wants me to do here. It wants me to try to trick them into running in it. Yep, there we go. Haha. <laughs> He missed that jump completely. Ah! I did not see him coming. Grenade! Aw, oh, damn it, got me. So the game's a little challenging. Although it'd be a bit easier with a gamepad, I think. I don't really, I'm not really playing this with a, I'm not playing this with a controller, I'm actually playing it with the keyboard and mouse. Ah. Damn it. They got me. Oh, crap. Stunned. I didn't know they get stunned. <laughs> I could just stay here. I can wait for them to jump and then shoot them. Whoa. That was close. I'm gonna throw him in there. See if I can... Oh, crap. Whoa! See if I can throw him in there. Uh, what is it? Right click? Oh, nope. That's the execution. <laughs> oh, wow. He still got in there, so... Works for me. Where? Oh, yeah. I gotta pick up some grenades.
Whoa. I mean, the game's trying to tell me to try out the dropped weapons, but uh, I'm good. I don't. I never really. I've never really been in a point to where I needed to use one. All right, it's a cutscene. Hey, the cutscene that plays. We're gonna go and skip that. This is the first boss. He's pretty easy, but to be fair, he is the first boss. Really, you could just run back and forth. And when he falls down, you can grab him and do a little little cutscene place. Oh, shit, he grabbed me. Oh, grab some life. Aha! Yeah, the, the first boss battle is like, uh, forgiving. As you can see, every time I kill an enemy, they drop tequila bottles. Video seems to keep freezing for some reason, but I think that's just GLC being buggy. Oh, whoa, that was close. Oh, damn, I need to get over there and get them tequila bottles. There we go. Yeah, boss battles further on are a bit challenging. Uh, much more challenging. Although the d the levels seem to have weird difficulty spikes, like there are some levels where uh, getting to the boss is hard, but the actual boss himself is rather easy. The game definitely has weird uh, difficulty spikes. Uh, hopefully, I don't. I would hate to restart this boss, but oh yeah, but I think this is where I get to kill him. Nobody doesn't have much life left. There we go. Now the little finishing cutscene plays. The finishing attacks are always quite brutal. The way you finish the bosses. Come on, man. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, and he takes you to the second level. Yeah, video playback's a little buggy with the recording program. Yeah, it after you be a level, it gives you your time, your rank, and all that stuff. Alright, uh, I think one level's enough. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. This is the end of my Shank 2 commentary. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and Ghost Squad 57, out.